Hi, this is Paint Girly or Lori, if you will. My channel is Paint Girly on YouTube. And I was going to do a standalone video, but I mm, haven't done one in a while. And I thought, oh, it's just easier to go live. <clears throat> so that's what I decided to do. Now I'm going to see if I can find me on my phone. See if anybody pops in. And today I'm going to make some tags. There I am. Make sure I've got the right glasses on. All right, I think I'm all set. I like to have the live chat on my phone. Sometimes my little camera is in my line of vision and it's hard to see chat if anyone should decide to pop in. All right, well, I'm just going to go ahead and get started, especially for those who may watch on the replay. Quite a while ago, I'm guessing probably years, I bought a package or two of Tim Holtz or Ranger type products. And I could be mistaken, um, but I think it was a variety pack that had different sizes. So it had some of these taller size cards in it, which are printed on both sides. And it had, I believe, uh, just threw them all in a plastic bag. So I have no idea what it was called. But see, then there's some smaller cards. And there's, I think there's several different sizes. I think there's even smaller than that. Let's see what I have in here. I've got a couple of different... <clears throat> uh, different companies type of cards <clears throat> never fails as soon as I go live I have a a tickle I still don't have my regular voice back oh yeah see here there's some of this size I think they probably all came together but these are quite old and it's um, probably different prints from one of his paper packs from years ago so I entitled this um live uh, tags with a head start uh, a lot of times i just do tags i pull out some cardstock or some um, manila folders or um, you know something like that that you can use as your substrate and i thought well you know today maybe not work so hard with getting some background type of things going and uh, play around with some paper that already has a really nice beginning. So these are double-sided. I have five of them here. I'm thinking about trying to work on all five at once. If it's not too confusing. And then uh, leaving the back space for journaling. And so this one, of course, is great because it's already got journaling lines. And I picked out some lighter ones that I could maybe put some lines on. Hi, Peggy. And... Um, so that one kind of would be cool. Hey, Ree. So I've just, um, girls, I was just saying that years ago I purchased some kind of a package with, I think it was Tim Holtz. Hi, Linda. Nice to see you all. And I thought I might do some tags today. I want some tags. And uh, rather than starting with a blank canvas, if you will. Elsie, hello. I'm not sure I've met you, Elsie, but it's nice to see you. Thanks for popping in. And so I was going to work with these cards. And then I pulled out some other stuff that, I don't know if anybody's like me, but sometimes I buy things and I don't know what I'm going to do with them or really even what they are. So I've got a couple of things like that that I pulled out. This is Gosh, can I even see that? Oh, my Lord. This is a Prima product. Let me let me flip to my other glasses. 
This is a rust effect paste. This one, this came in a set. set. This is a browned rust. Again, a paste. Now these are um, extreme glitter, which I found, as you see, on the clearance shelf. Oh my gosh, I freaking love clearance. They're gigantic. This stuff really smells, but it's really nice because it dries clear and you just have your sparkle. And this also was in this set, I believe. And this is called Golden Nugget Effect Paste. Not sure if I'm going to use those, but I pulled them out. I've got some stencils and some stamps. And then when I was pulling out all this stuff that I thought I'd like to try and use, that I've not really used before, Murray's always talking about this gold paint. And look, it, it tipped over. And obviously, I don't know whether it was the heat from the summer. It kind of exploded. But look at the mess. Anyway, I pulled out my gold. So I <clears throat> I'm just gonna start in and uh see what happens. I really have no plan. Shocker, shocker. Well, I have a little bit of a plan, but not much. So I might have to rummage and pull some things out. I've got some fabric sitting next to me in a bin, and I've pulled out some stamps and some stencils that I think I might like to use or that you know, are kind of my favorites. <clears throat> and we'll just see how we go. And uh, I apologize for my voice. It's still not right. I'm still messing around with a sore throat. I think I might have an ear thing going on. We're going we're gonna to see how that plays out. But I, I mean, I feel okay. So I wanted to do a little bit of arching, if you will. So we're going to see how it goes. So the first thing I want to do is I want to get these edges of my substrate here um, to look like a tag. Now, if you don't have these, that's fine. Get out some cardstock. Get out a manila folder. You know, cut them to the size that you might like. Uh, you don't have to have a print of any kind, but I'm thinking it might be fun to work with something like that. Now, I know most of us have some kind of cardstock laying around or, you know, your stash of um, paper, right? <clears throat> Scrap paper. And it doesn't have to be large like this. They can be any size. And you may have or may not have uh, one of those chomper things. Yes, Peggy, flash cards, game cards, anything like that. You want something that maybe it's a little sturdier. These aren't super sturdy. Um, but I just keep an old tag laying around by my desk. I don't eyeball this stuff, kids, because I never get them same so I just take my tag and hold it and snip and then I'll grab my paper my, my punch so I have not felt well enough to go back to my nail salon yet so my nails and my fingers look horrific I apologize I haven't even tried to paint them on my own. But hopefully this next week I can get there. Now, I never like to do just one of something. So this we'll see how this goes. But I'm going to attempt to do all five of these because I'm probably going to use the same process on these and then i was thinking i was as i was thinking about doing a stream and what to do i was thinking back to some of you will know who i mean a gal by the name of and i'm not comparing myself to her i'm just to either of these gals um gosh the one gal's name i don't even remember uh, the one girl's name is Rachel. Rach. She goes by Rach0113. 
I haven't watched any of her stuff in a long time, but I used to binge on her uh, videos. So I don't even know if she's doing uh, any videos anymore, but she had a unique um, way of doing journal pages using a lot of stamps and stencils. Her creative mind is amazing. And um, then there's another gal. She's French and she calls um, the folks that follow her, her little butterflies. Uh, the man, she hers, her site might be called the paper butterfly. I'm not so sure. I'm not sure. Hi, Devin. How are you? Nice to see you. And her stuff is really cool, too. And they do a lot. Um, she does a lot of like scraping and of paint and using um, gesso and that kind of thing. So I'm kind of thinking I might want to play with that kind of stuff. All right. So I have my glue gun plugged in just in case. And now I'm just going to eyeball these because I'm not that. Um, concerned about, you know, it being perfect, perfect. So I'm just going to punch a hole so I can put some fibers in there. Down the road, I have a drawer to the right of me, and I have a glass dish in the bottom of the drawer, <clears throat> which I can sit my heat gun in, and um, my glue gun can stay plugged in. Isn't that cool? All right, so I think what I want to do is knock back some of the color of some of these, and I've decided that on the back of these. Uh, I'm going to, um, that will be used as the journaling part. Now, see, like these two are already set to go. Um, I think these two, I might add something. I pulled out some coffee or tea dyed paper. So I think I'm just going to do that first. I'm just going to tear this. I have some yes paste that I haven't used yet. I don't think I tear so good. I know Maria from Maria Miscellanies told me one time how to tear properly. But that might do on that one. Now this has a real white. Um, you can see those little flowers are kind of on the whitish side. France Papi, Papi, Papillon, Papillon, yes. I haven't watched her. I used to get notices from her. I don't think I stopped those notices. Is she still uh, doing stuff, Dev? Oh, she's got a great little accent. Her stuff is really cool. All right, so let's see. I'm going to need to have a little inky, a little inker dinker here. I'm going to knock this... Uh, color this whiteness back a little bit i know it's going to be underneath <clears throat> but i'm going to do it anyway so i'm just taking a little bit of my distress ink vintage photo one of my favorites and then i'm going to tear more of this paper now if i get out of frame you guys have to let me know yes french well i think um i think papillon is butterfly i'm trying to think what paper is because paper is uh similar oh okay thanks dev um i could be saying that wrong because i think papillon is paper So I'm not sure. I remember um, 
when I was in France one time. Um, my daughter, I was with my daughter at that time, and uh, there was never any toilet paper in the bathrooms, okay? And so I, I wanted to make sure I knew how to say paper so I could tell other people that there was no paper in the bathroom. I know, silly. I'm probably saying it wrong then. I got something wrong, girls. Okay, so I'm just going to ink. Now, this is just um, paper that I have that I think I purchased. This is in paper that I coffee stained. And I'm just going to, and I'm not going to leave it blank. I think I'm going to put some lines on it. But I want to ink my edges because I like it. I like it. Ah. Okay, so everybody, so people do know her. She's wonderful, right? You know how to speak French, Ray? Ooh. Okay, here's, talk about missed opportunities. Well, we're not talking about missed opportunities. I know we probably all have missed opportunities. I worked with a gal for I don't know how many words. The word for paper is papier. Ah, okay. Thank you. Thank you, Dev. Pronounce papier. Papier. Okay. Dev, you speak French, right? Because you're in Canada. And papillon is the butterfly. I so want to speak French. But I'm just not... Um, I just don't have any stick to itiveness when it comes to that. Anyway, I worked with a gal. I was really good friends with her <clears throat> years ago at a college where we were both staff members there. And she's an American, but her parents were missionaries and her first language was French. Okay. Now I worked with this girl. We were good friends. Okay. We talked every day, had lunch together every day. Do you think... It ever occurred to me at that time to say to her, hey, let's get together and teach me, teach me how to speak French. Okay. I took one class in high school and like was a total dweeb and didn't pay attention. Anywho, missed opportunity. Took three years in high school and two in college. Oh, but not so good at it anymore. As that was in the 70s. Crafting and French lessons. So we oui, we oui. oh I love when you go there and you're like um when you're in France and they're like we oui, bonjour. Oh and just love it. Love it. But then it goes, you know, they speak so fast. Okay, so I'm gonna do that. Now this is kind of a um this has lines, but I'm not sure they're that great. Because these look like, um, this looks like that um, ticking fabric. Okay, so Devin says she used to speak French better than she does now. Both your parents were, oh, how wonderful. And I went to school in French from kindergarten to, oh, Dev. So cool. I don't know. I also worked with a girl. She ran the cafeteria at this college. She was from German uh, folks and spoke German. Um, how do they say? Um, fluently. Okay. And so when she started to have her children, <clears throat> she spoke to them in German and her husband spoke to them in English. So by the time the kids were like five years old, they were bilingual, you know, I mean, it just, uh, anyway. All right. So I don't think I'm going to use this, although I may use this on the car, on the tags, but I'm not going to use it here. I'm going to do the old uh, credit card trick, I think, if I can find an old card here in my mess of stuff. Here we go, an old Duncan gift card. Now, I don't think I have too much ink in the, these ink pads, but I'm going to try. So this is going to be very rustic. 
garlic or Gaelic. <laughs> oh, writing, writing in French. I have, um, okay, so what I'm doing is I'm just scrubbing, for anybody that might not know, I'm just scrubbing my card across my ink pad and I'm making lines that someone could journal on. Uh, let's see, what was I saying before that? Da, 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 da. I think it was absolutely for you to. I guess it's not like hubby speaks Gaelic, but it's all <laughs> you never picked up on any peg. Oh boy, Peg, you live in the dream. I mean, my most of the gals I knew always hoped that they could meet somebody that had a really cool accent. All right, now I haven't used my yes paste, but I'm thinking it might be a good time to get that out. So I want to put these on the back of the two cards that really might be a little more difficult to uh, journal on, right? So let's see what this yes paste is all about. Hello, Aaron. Nice to see you. Let's see if I can. I have a hard time with these wide jars getting them to open. This may not be happening. After 47 years, my dream turned into a hoe paste. <laughs> Oh, I haven't used this. I'm just heating the rim a little bit, seeing if that'll loosen up. I haven't used this either, but maybe I got to see. It looks like I got a little leakage. My um, room where all my art stuff is an all-seasons season room, but we don't keep the heat real hot here. Oh, my goodness. I'm not going to be able to get this open. That's a bummer. How long should I struggle? Oh my goodness. I see one little spot where it might have... I mean, this is like white glue, right? Like white paste that we had in, in grade school. And this has been sitting flat. This hasn't been on its side. So why... Ah, got it, girls. Look, it looks like an ice rink. Yeah, look. Maybe that happened in shipping. All right, now I bought these little things, silicone type things, thinking that I could use this paste. like this to put it on rather than a palette knife. No, well, it's not working too badly. So it's allowing me to put a little thin film. All right, so I'm going to get that on the back of that one. I pull, pulled out my grungy work mat. And then this one, I'm going to put, do the same thing. This is new. Dev, I just, I mean, really, I just got it like a week or so ago. 
because I decided it was time to try and see what boy it goes on like glass really at least looks like Meridel might be right I don't know all right now i'm going to drop that in water and where's my here it is maybe i'll go this way with this one I have no bananas. I have no bananas. I should get a piece of uh, get a um, baby wipe out. Maybe clean the edge of this a little bit. Let's see if I can. Oh, that's all. That's all crusty. That's a big tub of paste, and for the little bit that I just used. I may have to put this in my will. Yes, we have no bananas. We have no bananas. Boy, that's really... Uh, let's see. What do I have here that I can... That was a hard, crunchy bit. A hard, crunchy bit. All right. That'll be good enough for now. Put that back in its designated spot. We got six inches of snow. Couldn't believe it. The old guy had to go shovel. Okay. All right. So now those other backs are fine for journaling, I believe. This one, I'm not going to. Let's not do. Let's do four. So I've got lines there. And I've got those there now. Now, what shall we do? <clears throat> okay, I think I want to stamp a little. Stamp it, stamp a little. And maybe scrape some paint a little. So I'm going to use this. Maybe I'll scrape some. Start out with scraping some white gesso. I love me some white gesso. Oh, okay, Peg. I'll try that. I don't think my gesso is going to squeeze out. Let's see. Where shall I put a little blop of this? Little blop. A little blop, a little blop. Oh, do you? See if I can get some to squeeze out. Oh, look at there. It just shook out. That looks like a bird had visited me. All right, so I'm just going to scrape on some gesso. Now, if anybody needs to get my attention, like if I'm, you know, oh, look, butterflies. <clears throat> Because I noticed on my um, New Year's Eve stream, I was out of frame quite a bit. And I wasn't even drinking. Okay, that's kind of cool. See if I can grab a little more. Oh, there's a little bit more on there. So I do some of this other 10 inches. Oh, wow. 
I've said before, my sister has a place up in the Adirondacks. And they haven't been for a little while. They're going to go, I think, next week. And I think my brother-in-law will be using their snowblower just to even get in to the property. They have not a real long driveway, but they have a little bit of a, from the street to get in. And you know what? I flipped this one up here, but now that I have this extra, let's just put it on. So we don't waste don't want to waste all righty all righty this last batch of uh, baby wipes I got <clears throat> I think were the cheaper brand and oh boy they don't, uh, they kind of fall apart a little bit. All right, now I'm going to have to hit these with my heat gun. Of course, of course, of course. Dry these up a little. I got a new sticker book that um, Kathy Berg enabled me to buy. And I have that in the front room. You might want to go get that. All right, now I want to grunge up my edges, too. So let me get this back out. And let's see how much grunginess I can get. I think this is pretty dry. Pretty dry. Let's see. Black soot. A vintage photo. All right, this is what Timmy says to do. Timmy says, take an eyedropper full. And put it on your ink pad. And then take a card of some kind. Just smush it around on your pad and then let it soak in. Scrape it in, pushing it down into that little ink rug, if you will. All right, let's see. <clears throat> Oh, wow, that's good. Yeah, because even the snow blowers, like my husband said, even the snow blowers, well, it depends on the snow, too. What we got was really light. So I think um, he didn't dig it out, didn't dig it out yet because we haven't had any. So he just cleaned the walks with a shovel. But even the snow blower is a lot of work. My husband's 70 now, you know. He's not a kid anymore. All right, so I'm just around the edge. I'm going to give myself a little color. 
I was thinking I wanted to stitch on these too, but of course I did not unearth my sewing machine. I mean, I got it back out here, but I haven't, I don't have it plugged in. Welcome to others who have come in and haven't, maybe are lurking or working on something in the background. Appreciate you being here. Okay, so I think next I'm going to stamp. Uh, I pulled out a couple of, I was, um, I've been trying to, I know, we all try to do this, right? Straighten up and, and um, you know, clean up and get organized it's like a never-ending thing right so I pulled open one of my drawers and thought oh I didn't realize I put some stamps in, in there and there were some kind of cool stamps I've got a um, I don't know I think the one's Beethoven I'll show you in a minute and you know, sometimes I like to put something a little stiffer underneath. Let's see. It goes a little easier, I think. Like, usually I have, like, a heavy piece of cardstock or something. And I find it easier to try to get those edges. That's not working so great either. <clears throat> See, I have um, some of this rubbing and scrubbing bothers my arm, so I kind of avoid doing that. But I have um, a Mona Lisa face. She doesn't always stamp that great, but I thought that might be cool to have. And then I think one's Beethoven. I don't know. I don't know who a lot of these people are. I'll show you. So I pulled those out. Still haven't found my French script stamp. I hope it didn't fall down like the back of the drawer. But I... I really like using that. I have a feeling I stashed it in a box somewhere. Oh, that's good. We live in a 55 plus, so we're required to uh, clear the sidewalk in front of our house. The um, We have a very low... Um, what do they call it? Membership, not membership, or not maintenance. Um, oh, you know. Ours is very low. And they, they plow and they mow, like, common areas. But we're responsible for our, our property. You did, Dev? Oh my gosh, where were they? Were they buried under something? Or did you put them in a spot and say, now I'm putting them here so I'll remember? <laughs> oh, that's great. That's, that's a happy dance. That's a happy dance situation. Okay, I bent, bent that a little bit. Stamp, stamp, stamp a -rooney. I think I might have to go grab a little something to eat. I'm feeling a little, feeling a little loopy. Okay, can anybody tell who this is? Is that supposed to be Beethoven? Yeah, HOA fees. That's it, Dev. Yeah. Association fees. Yeah, yeah. Ours are very low. So, you know, they don't do whole lot we don't really need them to do a whole lot everybody here pays to have somebody 
cut the grass. We're all old. We're all oldies here. Actually, we're the kids. Mostly everybody here is like in their 90s or. <clears throat> All right, so let's see. Let me, where do I have a juicy black? I think I want to do the stays on. Maybe I'll do blue. I think this is pretty juicy. Oh, this might be juicy with that little guy. And I'm going to stamp, I'm going to stamp on Elvis. I like to use the mouse, mouse pad. Hi, uh, Magical Touch Studio. I'm not sure if I know your name, but thank you for being here. Hi, uh, chat. I'm Carol. Oh, that's right. Whispering Cauldron. Hi, Carol. Yeah, I know you. <laughs> nice to see you. All right. So I'm going to try this. Let me try this. See how well it. Probably not going to stamp the whole thing. Let's see. What do I have here? Let's do a little tester. Elvis is in the house. I need more ink. It's like you never know your ink things are empty until they're empty. I'm going to add a little bit here. Angie Brown, hello, hello. All right, girls, I got to go grab. I'm going to go grab my book and I'm going to go grab my, uh, I'm going to let that ink sit there for a minute. Have a look at Elvis. I'm going to go grab my sticker book and I have to grab a little something to munch on. Uh, I'm feeling a little, a little loopy. Okay. Let's see. What did I miss? Let me move this aside. I'll show you this. <clears throat> Kathy Berg did a giveaway on her New Year's Eve stream. And I think this is what she gave away. Now, I have a couple of those other sticker books, and they're okay, but 
Yes, I use the mouse pad under my stamps as a cushion. I seem to get a better a better stamp. Hey Brenda, nice to see you. Um so I was thinking there might be something in this sticker book I could use. <clears throat> I just took through it briefly. John Darian. Pardon me, I'm munching on a... Hmm. It might be too big. Cool though, right? Oh, look at the bugs. Mm, mm, mm. Mm-mm-mm. Now, some of the other sticker books, like the, um, oh, <laughs> hi, ho. Some of the other sticker books, what do they call them? The aqu aquatic or aquarian or something like that. I, I find that they don't stick very well, so I have to add glue. So I'm hoping these stick better. I'm looking for something small. I haven't tried to pull any of them out yet. Something like maybe for a border or some fun yeah antiquarian yeah that's it these would be really cool for like a regular size journal page oh look here's some little stuff i kind of like that um oh, these are cool see but of course the first thing i'm thinking is yeah but where else would might i want to use that Hmm, that's cool. I guess that's a whole sheet. Bones? You never have enough bones. I'm really liking this. All right, let's put a... Um, Put a little marker in there just in case just in case i want to go back to that okay now let's see if i got enough ink in this little ink pad ink this guy up did anybody tell me who this is and i missed it Okay, so that's better. I don't need a super clean image. Let's see. Okay, what tag do I want? Let's do this tag. So my hands get shaky if I... It's not all the time. It's just if I don't... Eat sometimes. I had soup. I'm not sure why I'm shaky. All right, let's see. I don't even know that I want the whole thing on there. And because it's not on a board... to stand and push I'm really lazy all right 
And then I have Mona Lisa, Mona Lisa. Where is she, Mona Lisa? This is Mona. Mona, Mona. Wherefore art thou, dear Mona? What are you working on, Ange? She'll do okay. Let's put a little bit of Mona. <clears throat> Moaning Myrtle. Let's see. Oh, I almost dropped her. Hmm. I really kind of want an image from the other side, so let's put her here. All right. And I got some other ones here I want to use. Let's see. I like this one. I don't know what whose skyline that's supposed to be. I'm getting messy with that little. Oh, a new label maker. Oh, that's fun. Did you get that for Christmas? Cool. Let's clean that up a little bit. I know I didn't stamp off, but I'm just going to do it. Cool. I'm wondering how this would see how my hand's shaking. That's because I didn't eat. I like these little. Let's try the uh, navy. So I just picked out some stamps that I like. Just putting some kind of crazy images. This is a Timmy guy. Isn't he cool? No, you just got it? Oh, fun. Oh, nice, Ange. Yeah, I just did. Uh, oh. All right. I do like. I did pull out a strip. Uh, let's see, where did I throw that? Hmm. I'm munching in your ears. I got this in one of the sales. I'm not sure. Mm. Or maybe I got it McCary. All different numbers. Now, and that's not true, girls. It's letters. Let's see how this stamps. I know. Isn't the bird cool? Oh, yeah, that'll be cool. All right, so let's put this on some of them. 
So I'm just throwing on different stuff to add to the background that's already there. Yeah, that bird's part of a set, but I don't remember what else was in the set. I'm going to do a secondary stamp from this one. Now, this, this um, base tag is so dark. I think I'm going to need to get some nice juicy black ink. And I'm trying to stay with stay with the stays on because if I put any paint or anything on it, you know, I don't want it to smear. I don't want it to smear. I don't know how dry some of these are. I don't use my stamps as much as I should. And I have quite a few, and I really love them all. <clears throat> oh, that one's not too bad. Okay. some trees cool that works and then look at these these dragonflies are cool I wonder if I can get a couple of those to stamp pretty good Let's see. Ah! more ink on that one guy I'm going to try to concentrate on this guy here Too bad. Let's give it another go down here. Let's see if we can get him on there a little bit. I think I want to use this. Oh, I like that. Okay. Alrighty. And then I'm going to use, I think, this again now somewhere here amongst my mess i did have a little oh here we go let's get this guy let's put a little script on some of these Of course, a lot of this we're probably not going to see. But that's okay. We're just kind of building our backgrounds, right? I 
I'm so glad I had the uh, wherewithal to mark which way the lettering goes because I never remember. And then, I don't know, a lot of times it just doesn't make sense to me even when I look at it. I think I'm a, a bit... Uh, it's not printing? Did you get any directions with it that um, maybe there's a troubleshooting thing? Or maybe you could find uh, something online about it. You know, people on YouTube kind of have the same problems we do on occasion. Okay, I'm liking that. All right. Good so far. Now, quite a while back, I was making these uh, what I called art tiles. And I had some of the bits of that, like I was um, doing some watercolor on some watercolor, heavier watercolor paper. And oh, I like that. Okay. I found some of these bits. Um, <clears throat> you put down, uh, let's see, you, you wet your watercolor paper and then you wrinkle some uh, saran wrap and then you scrunch it on. And then when it's dry, you lift it off and you get all these different patterns and designs. So I found some of these bits. And I was thinking some of these might look cool. Attached to a card. Or in a frame. Maybe, maybe not. This is one of those. Um, okay, Ange, that sounds like a good idea. Yeah, see, I don't know anything about those. Like I have, um, I have something that prints little lab. Well, we can call it a label maker, though. So mine's different. All right, I'm going to print some of this. Hopefully, on this frame, <clears throat> jazz this up a little bit, maybe. My dad had a bunch of these. See, I think that's cute. But some of them are plastic. So, like, I decoupage sometimes on that. All right, so if I put that on this one, <clears throat> and then I found this Timmy bug laying somewhere. It's a little too big. Need to get a little something, something I can I'll trim this down some more. I love the slide projector frames. Maybe I could, uh, let's see, what else do I have sitting close to that? Oh, I know, I have a little. I have a little butterfly stamp. Let's see how that works. Yeah, oh, that might be good enough. <clears throat> okay, Ange, good luck, honey. I hope it you find an answer. Okay, so now somewhere here, I have some, like, uh, I think this is, 
I think this is the art glitter glue that I have in here. I did have trouble. I need to fill this up. There we go. Make sure I've got it the way I want it. Hey, Judy. Nice to see you. Hey, Frida. How you doing? I know I still owe you an email. I haven't forgotten. I just haven't gotten myself organized. Okay, I'm going to clamp, clamp this and hopefully... Get a good stick on that. I love these little binder clips too. All right, so I'm going to use that. I think on that guy. And I have some of these gummy labels that I got at a. I think this was in an estate sale. They're kind of brittle. Let's see if I can get that to... I'm not even going to try to wet and use the glue that's on it. I'm just starting to add stuff here, there, and everywhere, right? Mm -hmm. Am I confusing you by doing um, too many at a time? I like this bug. I'm not crazy about the white. <clears throat> I'm going to put this on with the, uh, the butterflies. Now somewhere I have I hate just putting something down without some kind of fabric or something underneath of it or some kind of um, hmm, you know some kind of fiber and of course the term escapes me what it really is because Keisha's got me calling a dirty gauze it's not dirty gauze. But that's the only thing that comes to my mind. Cheesecloth. Oh, Frida, that's amazing. Oh, let, let me know what, uh, when that's going on. <clears throat> Actually, um, Devin, these are probably for resale. So I'm just doing, you know, whatever kind of look I like. Oh, that sounds like an awesome, awesome opportunity, Frida. Guys, this is Frida. She lives in... Uh, I know where you live, Frida. It's not coming to me. Um, she is Icelandic, but she lives in Norway, right? Frida, did I get it right? Norway. And she's done an amazing job with, uh, intermittent fasting. And she's a crafter. An artisan. <clears throat> I'm trying to dig out. In fact, this is a piece of silk. 
the Frida sent me. <coughs> I might look a little piece of this might look really cool underneath that bug because it's like um like a yellowy green. To look cool under the sky, I think. I still want a piece of, um, and I know I tucked a piece right here because I thought, oh, I'm going to need that. A piece of gauze. <laughs> a piece of... Keisha, if you're watching, I'm going to bop you. Cheesecloth, a piece of cheesecloth. I might have to, I might have to just settle for a piece of lace because that's what's right here. Of course, I don't want white lace, you know, because everything's kind of looking grungy. So I'm going to take my anchor, my blending tool. Let's smudge this up a little bit. Maybe I should get rid of Elvis here for a moment. All right, Elvis, let's put you off to the side. So it's kind of like building a cluster. This isn't cooperating here. It's kind of bending a little bit. So I'm going to tear that off. And I just do hot glue. Hot glue. Is Jilly here? Hi, Jilly. Ninja Jilly. Why is Jilly a ninja? Okay, I'm going to put this here. Just gonna, and I like stuff to hang off the sides. And you can use your tacky glue. I just am using <clears throat> my uh, hot glue because it's quicker. Quicker. Mm. I could put a pop-up on this bug, but I don't want it to stick up too much, not knowing how it's going to be used. All right. And I'm going to put a little bit of this script, hopefully, on my little label. All righty. That's good. Now, earlier, I started to make these, and most of you probably know how to do this, but I like the look of uh, tape that looks like it's been, um, you know, off of an old book page. So I made some earlier. Now, sometimes you don't, when you make this, you don't get it to stick as well as you'd like it to. So sometimes you need to add a little glue <clears throat> underneath of it but i'm going to show you how i make this in case some of you don't know especially those that may watch the replay so all you do is you want clear tape and then you can use packing tape of course that's a lot wider and you you know you'd have to trim that to to how um you like it the size you'd like it to be uh, but I'm just I just took the um, casing of um, the stencils that I just got and so you need some kind of an acetate or something that you can put your tape on that you can then easily peel it off all right and then you're just going to take your tape where you can find where she put it and you can tear off and do long pieces, short pieces, whatever you need. Uh, if you don't like to cut it, you know, do short ones. And you just put it down on a surface that you can then get it back off of. 
Okay, Devin, have a good afternoon. Good evening. All right, Ange. Good job. So I'm just adding more tape here. And then you want to add your alcohol ink. And you want a color that looks like, for lack of a letter, lack of a better way to describe it, you know, something that looks like really it's kind of been like urinated on, like a yellowy, that kind of a yellowy brown <clears throat> kind of a look. Oh, that's really tacky, but you now I have this stuff here. I haven't tried this. This is called Wild Honey. This might be a really yellow. Fluid dye for papers. Not sure that this is alcohol ink. I'm going to try this on one of them. This has um, got one of those sponge tops. See, now that's really, yeah, see, that's not working. So this can't be alcohol. This must be um, water-based. So I'm going to wipe that off my tape. So you want something that says alcohol ink. So I've been using this one called Latte. And this is a Ranger product, but I'm sure there's other folks that make alcohol inks too, right? So then I just squeeze some on. Now I like leaving it thicker too in spots. You could take a brush and, um, you know, move that around. But I just use a cotton swab. And sometimes I move it a lot, and sometimes I don't touch it at all. And then I take my heat gun and dry it. And then you want to be careful with that because you don't want to melt the plastic or melt your tape. And you can leave it dry by itself, but it takes quite a while, right? So I just use the heat gun. And it looks amazing when you put it on stuff. Now I have yeah. Lisa and Tanya putting together journals of bits of scraps that they had. So this is my version of what they're doing. And I had found this um, cover in a pile of my stuff that I forgot. It's not a cover. I made it into a cover. It's just like a cornmeal sack. But see, it was all falling apart here. So I just colored this tape to make it look old and attached it. And I think it looks cool. See, now it's starting to lift up here. So I'm going to go in there all with some additional glue. And then I put some on the spine because when I folded it, you know, it wasn't didn't look like it was holding up so well. So I used the packing tape because I wanted a wider piece. Anyway, I like it. So there you have it. If uh, you didn't know how to do that. So I thought it would look cute if I added some of the tape on some of my pieces. And especially the ones that have the paper that we put on the back. So I'm going to peel, hopefully peel this up. See, now that one tore, but that's okay. And it does curl onto itself, so. So now it looks like I taped that down to have a place to uh, journal. Let's see in there. I'm just going to snip that off. Okay. I just love it. And if you don't feel like messing with it all the time, <clears throat> you know, next time you purchase something and you have one of these little plastic uh, envelopes that your goodies come in, just make a, a, a couple strips of it or do the whole page and then you have it when you need it. And if you don't have any fingernails, You can use your 
the exacto knife to kind of put it down. So I think that's cool. So we got one on there. <clears throat> I'm going to put a piece on here with Mona. Okay, who sang that song? Mona Lisa, Mona Lisa, men have made you. I think I know who it is. I know if Barb Chicken Pot Pie was here, she would know. Let's see if anybody else has an idea. I started too low, especially with my man voice. Mona, Mona Lisa, Mona Lisa, men have made you. That's all I remember. Now, this is a really cheap brand of uh, tape that I use here. So if you buy the better, you don't want the frosted. Not King Cole, Peggy, girl, you got it. Good old Nat. Hmm? What a voice. What a voice. Hmm? Okay, let's see. I'm going to put a piece here. And then around on that side. I mean, you can get carried away with this jazz too, right? I don't see it on this one so much, I don't think. Okay. So I think that looks kind of cool. Um, where'd I put my little... Here we go. Oops. Wrong way. All right, let's see here. See if this this glued down pretty good. I think I was going to put this on the dark one, right? Oh, man, I really need some. I really need some of my... <clears throat> Cheese cloth. I had a little scrap because a, a little bit of it goes a long way. Goodness me, what did I do with it? Of course, my husband just left the door open. Can you hear her carrying on? Oh. Yeah, this is this will be cute. Look, there's a little flower from a piece of lace. So do I have any in here? No, of course not. It's like you want to get that underneath. So it's like you can't add it after the fact. I apologize for my dog. I especially think of the folks that are watching it on replay like why doesn't that woman go get her dog in <clears throat> I think I need something underneath there all right <clears throat> I'm going to try some of this paste I'm not sure how you're going to use your label maker but I'm glad about that Ange Ange that's great Oh, that's okay, Peggy. 
All right, so I'm going to put the tape aside, put my X-Acto knife up. I was going to see if I had any stickers I was going to use. Look at this paper. When I went to um, New York to the um, Sheep and Fiber um, Festival, that was in October of last year, I went with my sister and my niece. And of course, it was mostly wool and yarn and and uh, that that type type of stuff, which I absolutely love that as well. But there was one vendor we found who had paper. So she said this was washable paper, and it was from an Italian deli. But look at this stuff! Isn't this cool? I mean, I could have bought all of it. It's so cool. I think I might want to put a little bit of this on. Here. On some of these. Let's see. Maybe on the moon one. I'm just going to tear it. And I'm just going to use little bits. Little bits. Little bits. See if I can get it to stick down. I'm gonna put that up there. Might need a little bit of inking on the edge. Hey JL, how are you? Nat King Cole, she got it too. Yeah. Well, my son and I were in Europe. We'd be driving somewhere. He was the driver. He did an excellent job. <clears throat> of course, he can't stand to have quiet. So he always had some kind of music or something playing. And he was always asking me, okay, mom, who, who, uh, who did this? And it'd be like an instrumental music from a movie. Well, I'm not a real movie person. Especially to remember like theme songs or background music. It's just, it's just not me. I'm like, I don't know. And he'd, he'd be like, it's Home Alone 2 or Home Alone, you know. Okay. And then he'd ask me again. I'm like, I don't know. And I'd guess something. He'd say, no, mom, it's, home, it's from Home Alone. <clears throat> so when I finally guessed Home Alone, of course, it was some, from something else. Uh, kid. Anywho, then he started playing like different um, a Christmas music and stuff. And so like it would be Andy Williams, Nat King Cole, um, Bing Crosby, you know, those guys. So I'd be like, so who's this? Well, <laughs> guess who won that? I don't know all these old guys. I said, well, I don't know the movies either. See, we all we all have our things, right? All right. I don't know if I want to give them. I don't think I want to give her like something on her hair. Maybe down by her chin. It's going to drive me crazy. Oh, look. Look what was stuck to this. A piece of gauze. Hallelujah. It's only a little tiny piece, but I love it. If you don't have any of this, I'm telling you what. You need to get some, okay? Just go to Walmart. They have it in a package. It's not that expensive. You get tons of it. Bring it home. Take it out of the package. Make a cup of coffee or a strong cup of tea. Soak it in there. Wring it out. And this would last, you would have enough to last you probably most of your life. It's just beautiful stuff. Okay, so before I start doing that, let me, let me just back up a bit. Let's try some of this paste. All right, so I used this the other day, which I kind of like. I kind of like it a lot. But there's a couple of other ones here. Oh, I didn't realize this had butterflies. All right, so 
let's see all right one at a time one at a time Lori. this one's kind of let's go with this one so let's try like i said i bought this stuff oh in the baking oh yeah yeah peg that's right yeah you can get it in the baking you probably can get it at your grocery store right peg because that's how they do the bouquet gurney there was a time in my life when I thought, oh, yeah, I want to do a bouquet garnet. Yeah, no, not so much. Not so much anymore. Okay, so this stuff, I have no idea how this is going to work. This could be a disaster. It's very goopy in there. Goopy, goopy. So I bought this. There were three. I showed it at the beginning of the stream. I think there were directions on how it's supposed to look like, I don't know, brick or something. I don't know. I, don't know. I, don't know. I did find my palette knife. So let's see here. Let's try. I'm going to try a little bit of this design. I'm just going to scrape a little bit on. Cool. Up here where the little bird is. doing threes three little spots now of course I'm gonna to have to hit that with the gun the heat gun but that looks kind of cool right all right so let's put that up there and where's my lid and let me from watching other artisans smarter than me they say wipe this off right away so i'm going to do it This is a Vicky Booten stencil. You got three in the package. Uh, I got this from Zandra. And I never remember the name of her store. But I was just there. So I think it's uh, Paint and Paper Studio, right? <clears throat> Excuse me. All right. So that's that. Oh, I should have wiped off my little palette knife. Now, I want to see what my other colors are. So, this is a rust color. I think you're supposed to mix these. Not supposed to, but you could. Or blend them. Yeah, I really like the uh, cheesecloth. Because to me, it just, I don't know. It just, just to me, it makes everything look better. You know, instead of like gluing down a button. You put a little piece of cheesecloth under there or even um, a piece of scrapbook paper and then cheesecloth. It, it just like it. It's a game changer. Game changer. All right. Let's see. What color is this? This one is. Oh, it's like a chocolate chocolate brown. Oh, I could go for some chocolate. Don't listen, Peggy. I could go for some chocolate. Oh, look, this is still sealed. Ooh, look. That's kind of grainy. Let's see. Let's try this one. Wonder how that'll dry. All right, we're going for it. Oh, goodness me. Look at that. Are you catching that? I 
That looks like concrete. Fuck. Hmm. I don't know if Moni is going to like that. I'm anxious to dry that. That is um, a lot looser than the other, for sure. I wonder what it would be like if I did mix a couple of them. Let's try that chocolate brown on this one. I, I really, I'm off screen. Thanks, Peg. I really like this slitty kind of. Now, this is more like um, mud you, you do in a facial to me. This one. Even the, uh, oh, it's more gritty once you start spreading it out. I don't do much with uh, texture paste. Can you tell? I like it though when others do it. I like it. Okay. I wonder how it would look if I ran out of because I did not straighten up, I wonder how it would look if I put some on one of these things. I did want to try to use that um, fern stencil. Well, I can use that and not use texture paste, right? Let's do it all. Of course, I should have put that in the open spot instead of where the color was. Duh. Duh, duh, duh. Let's do it this way. Well, now I have to remember that I have this stuff. Because you could do this on journal pages too, right? Just make sure you dry it before you shut your book. All right, that's kind of bizarre. Okay, now let's see. And it shouldn't take too long, right, to dry where I can uh, manipulate it or work with it. All right, let's clean up. So for some odd reason, before I went on my vacation, I put alcohol in my spray bottle. I have it clearly marked. Fast forward three weeks of traveling and then three weeks of being sick. I come out to my work area and I wanted to spritz my watercolors with water. So I grabbed my water sprayer, which has always had water in it, picked it up the wrong way because I just have alcohol written on the one side and spritzed alcohol in my water paints. As my British bonus son would say, I am a struggle. I am a struggle. Okay, now I'm thinking. I've got this cool fern. Well, let's hit this. Let's hit this with the dryer a little bit. Let's see. The rust kind of looks like it's dried somewhat. Oh, it's done okay. Oh, 
See, that's the tune to the game I play. Isn't that, how sick is that? I play that game too much. Did I only do, no, no, there's the other one. No, I think I did three. I was wondering if this one that was so gritty would, would dry with um like a, some kind of a shine. But it's not. That looks cool, right? I need some contrast, though. I need some, uh, I think, white. All right, so I'm going to set those aside for a little bit here. Let's see. That smells okay. I mean, oh, man. If you've ever used this art glitter glow stink It smells like somebody's old basement. Really and truly it does. Okay. I know I have the lid to this somewhere. Don't know where I put it. All right. Let's move this stuff out of the way. And I think I want to use white paint. I guess I should look at my time. You know, almost two hours. Is everybody hanging in, hanging with me okay? Hanging in there? <clears throat> All right, I've got that fern. Uh, stencil. I'm just going to use the tip. I'm going to put it on the one where I have the trees. Maybe I'll go that way. That's not the way it's supposed to go. But that's the way I want it to go. It doesn't pack. Maybe it's because this was old. Every Even when I bought it regular. Well, I say old because it was on clearance. But yeah, mine really smells. I mean, it dries. It looks fabulous. I love, I know you're not supposed to, but I love putting it on my jelly plate. Well, I know you're not supposed to. All right, I'm just going to use a sponge. And I'm going to dab it in here. Then I'm going to pounce. Rather than uh, rub, because I don't want to get it under the stencil and perhaps uh, smear it. Hey, Kristen. Thanks for coming in. Nice to see you. Maybe you've been here. Right? You said, said hello. That looks kind of cool, right? I think this one needs my some black ink around the edge. Let's see. All right, and how's it going? You making labels? get my uh, sew machine plugged in I think I might uh, I think I might stitch on these
and maybe to make the back and the front kind of work together maybe i'll put a little a little piece of fern spray on the back what do you say what do you say let's see I know it'd be hard to write on, but I mean, really, most people, are they going to journal? To journal or not to journal? All cards are turning out great. I like the layers and the texture going on. Oh, thank you, Brenda. They're just fun, right? I just fun. I just love doing all this stuff. <clears throat> I'm trying to get my one. Yeah, me too, Peggy. I'm trying to get my one sister interested in art. Now she is my youngest sister. She felt really well. She does really cool felting projects. But my middle sister, she had said to me not too terribly long ago that she'd always wanted to mess around with watercolor and never really did it well she never really said anything like that before so i think i told this a uh, story on a stream before look see that's my tape's picking up a little bit i'm gonna glue that back down um so i had said to her it was getting to be time for her birthday coming around and uh, as we've gotten older we kind of try to treat each other with a little surprise on our birthdays so i was you know trying to get out of her like what she might like and i said you know if you were going to pick out uh, watercolor paints what would you you know what would you like to have and she said M. Graham. And I'm like, I didn't even think she knew what they were. So uh, my younger sister and I got her a little like sample of M. Graham. Anyway, this is a woman who uh, was trained to be a floral designer. She did that for a little bit, but most of her life has worked in an office, owned a business, you know, um, well, you don't know owned a business doing uh, installing uh, how, what do they call it they call it um like filing systems for doctor's offices okay yeah right she's got good taste well that's one thing us as our maiden name is uncle uncle girls are not you know short on so she um never drew never tried to draw you know and i was trying to encourage her to do that okay so she in the she in the last year has drawn a few things which i've been amazed and i was telling my son this while we were traveling and he's like tell aunt nancy i want to see some of her stuff so i messaged her oh you know we're in france she's like oh i threw most of that out i'm like you don't throw it out you know keep it in a book or something you shouldn't be throwing that stuff out so we were watching Kathy Arbor the other couple of days ago and she was doing the winter scene, which Kathy's winter scene just, oh my gosh, turned out fabulous. Anywho, <clears throat> so Nancy and I, you know, we're watching that. We're talking, you know, while Kathy's arting and we're, we're just amazed at the talent of some of these folks, right? So she's like, um, Kathy really inspired me. Uh, to get out my watercolor paints. Now, I have worked for years. I'm trying to teach myself to draw, trying to teach myself how. Okay, so now this is my sister. She is not, until she started watching Kathy Arbor a little while ago, has not watched any videos. She hasn't really looked at any books. She, okay, nothing. All right. Let me show you. I got. I got to show you this. Let's see. Where do I have it? wonder if I put it in my, yeah, this is her, and she said, this isn't done yet, this is her first attempt to do a winter scene, okay, this is in watercolor, okay, 
All right. She's on my last nerve. She's on my last nerve. So we're trying to schedule a paint date where because I have all the stuff. Anywho, that's my story and I'm sticking to it. Okay, because see, you can't really see that little bit of fabric under there, right? No, I'm covering up that tape and you can't see my trees. Maybe I need to go like that. Kind of just do it on the corner. Right, Ange? That's what I think. Okay? So can you imagine with a little bit of instruction from somebody that knows what they're doing? How good she could be? Okay. She's like, no, I don't think so. I'm like, yeah, I think so. Oh, my gosh. And I have enjoyed all the work I have done to try to, to draw and do stuff. But I'm thinking she could really be good with not much trouble. All right. So maybe I should attach this to the back of this first. I'm not sure where we want to attach this, but... It's going there. Our grandfather could draw. We used to love watching. And um, we used to love watching our granddaddy. He was big on drawing horses. He could really draw a nice horse. <clears throat> All right. So now I think I maybe need some scraping down the top I don't know what do you girls think you think that one's done maybe a little more um, gesso on this one Oh, that's right. I couldn't open this. I had to. This kind of just flops out. Oh, tell her she needs to come along with you. We would love to watch. I know, right? I can't talk her into it. That's what I think, Peggy. I think, you know, like some people are just like natural talents and they can see well. Uh, what they're trying or they have a good uh, eye in their head and they know what they're doing and uh, she doesn't buy any of it she you know she thinks I'm looping she thinks I'm looping <clears throat> and she's very shy and quiet my sister Jackie and I can be crazy we sing and carry on like crazy people but Nancy's always very quiet and just you know giggles What do you think? All right, let me try this peg and then maybe some black gesso. How about that? I keep forgetting when you dry stuff, it, you know, it's lighter. It's lighter. And, and, where did I, now see, this, this is Adina Wakely, I didn't even know I had this, black gesso, found that in the other drawer,
she's probably afraid you will. No, I won't laugh at her. Oh, my gosh, yeah, she does. She's the one that wets her pants all the time. Oh, my gosh, yeah. She's a tankla. Okay, I think I need a spatter. <clears throat> okay, Carol, thanks for coming. I appreciate you being here. Uh, we'll see you somewhere on the on the tube, I'm sure. Okay, let me try this. And then I'm going to put out a little more white paint. And let's see. Oh, let's see. I keep shoving my scissors everywhere where they're not supposed to go. I took one. Uh... I took my one jar of uh, paintbrushes to be washed out by the sink, and I think that's probably got my liner, my liner brush in it. And let's see what else we have here in this mishmash of. Oh, this guy might work. This guy might work. Use a piece of this. Nope. Need a little more water. Now you can test in your trash can or if you have a piece of usually dark paper works better, but you can see it better, but I do like a lot of spatters. looks okay right all right so let's put that one aside see that's done except for the the top the fibers coming out the top and you know I was thinking I might like to do some kind of um, some kind of dark underneath a couple of those butterflies or at least the one to make that kind of jump out a little bit and Thanks, uh, Peggy. You know, the bird, I didn't I didn't really stamp that as well as I could probably. I wonder how bad he'd look if I tried to paint. I could always cover him up if he doesn't look good, right? Oh, I have an idea, guys. Let me stamp him off on another piece of paper. How about that? How about that? I'm going to take the, bo the bottom of this here tag. Oh, that was ill-advised. Look, he's not going to fit on there. Silly, silly Lori. All right, so I'm going to cut it. Ink him up. Ink him up. <clears throat> Where's my... Let me see. I'm going to do him black. Okay, Peg. Piece of lace, huh? This guy's a little off his, his little form there. It's a little hard to... Does anybody else have trouble with these things? They don't really... Yeah, right, Ree. That's what I think, right? Um, have trouble with them sticking to your um, stamping block? I mean, 
even if I wipe them off and keep them clean, they just don't, they don't stick. Okay, he is inked. Inked. Inked, baby, inked. Well, I don't want them to stick forever. You think if I use a little bit of um, glue, it'll stick to my, and I'll be able to peel that up off of my stamping block? Hmm, never thought about that. I mean, I have used, like, the dry um, tape in your, like, tape runner. That's a little better. <clears throat> Maybe I should Is this black? Is this black? I just feel like I want them really dark. Double-sided tape. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. I didn't know that about the Tombow. Peggy, you are a wealth of knowledge, girl. Oof. Am I in camera? Okay. I'm starting to get hungry for some supper. My grandchildren get so annoyed with me when I say supper. If we're going to have supper. We don't have supper. We have dinner, Mama. We always call it supper. When I was growing up. I used to call it supper for her mother, too. I don't know why. been a paper crafter a very long time <laughs> yeah but you remember you remember what works i find myself going oh, i know i got that to work one time but i don't remember what it did oh girls i knew i was going to do it i just stuck my hand in in that uh always do it always do it <clears throat> in the uh you know the white stuff there okay so these of course doesn't look as good you know what i should put my other glasses down that would that would help Zip. this is not the easiest thing to try to recreate here It'll be okay. I think I'll, well, we'll cut it out. I'm not gonna. <clears throat> I'm not gonna fussy cut it. Lick, <laughs> Holly. I just saw you said lick the back. I'm a little embarrassed to say. Try that. Doesn't work.
I tried, but I couldn't do it. Okay, let's see. Now we're going to have to ink this. You know, we have to ink it. Ink it, ink it. Maybe I'll... Um... I'll put a little bit of this, like hashtaggy stuff. Look at I put my I put my ink. <laughs> I, put, <laughs> I put the ink box right down in the white paint, girls. Can't you keep me from making such a mess? Eileen would be so enjoying this, huh? My goodness goodness what a goofball look i got it on i got it on practically every finger hello oh my goodness me oh. what did i say a struggle i'm a struggle finger paint yeah look it's still i still Oh, man. What a goof. And then I didn't wipe that up. I think it's time for me to say good luck. So long. Goodbye. Let's not put it over there again, Lori. Okay. Reminds me of Carol Burnett. All right, I'm going to do it. Big white squares. I just, I, you know what? You know, we're thinking so much alike. I was just thinking the same thing. I can make white squares. All right, let's give this guy some glue going for it we're putting him down right on the bug right on the bug okay now i was saying this to colleen the other day but i don't know if i have anything dark i have mostly light colors let me try this dark. It's not that dark. Let's try with a Q-tip. Uh, oxide, aged mahogany. I guess I could do this with a brush too, right? Uh, Peg, do you know if I can? With a brush. Is this stuff water soluble? Oh yeah. Oh baby. Oh baby. Oh baby. Um, now if I can find my paper towel. Hmm. Oh no. Let's do what Timmy does. Let's put some down. My brush isn't big enough. What did I do with mine? My... 
I didn't put the stamp that down a very good spot. Did I? Did I? Have we got a bot? Not one veggie. Okay, Ange. See you later, baby. Glad you got your label maker working. See that tape is coming up a little bit there, too. I like it with the that burgundy on there. All right, I'm going to take a dry brush. Let's see. I'm going to try to highlight the top of the I'm going to try to just hit the top of that textured paste. What else does it need? Anything? I guess I need a spatter. I don't think I want the bird and the bug spattered. At least not all the bug, not all the bird. Spatter is good. Holly says spatter is good. All right, let's see. What brush was I using this one here? I could spatter some black as well. If I could find my black. My black often goes AWOL. Flick, flick, flick. Spattering is not easy. You've got to get the right... Oh, this is not good. Let's cover that up. You've got to get the right... Mixture. You see... Da, 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 da. Found the black. Da 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 da. Da 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 I wish I could send you a veggie sticker. Oh. oh, I love when it does that. I think not everybody's a fan, but I love it. See, when you spatter and you get something that looks like that, I love that. Okay, let's remove that. And there we've got that one. Two. What do we do? Four? Two, four, six, eight. Oh. Who do we appreciate? I think this. I hate to say it, but this kind of looks like poo to me. Just gonna lighten that up a little bit. Okay, that's better. Better, better. All right, <clears throat> let's see here. Um See what I have in here. It's kind of cool. This is just another label, just a plain label. I just hit my mouse. Hopefully, I didn't. 
disturb anything. Peg, how about, um, do you have any, like where you can go read? Oh, cool. Do you have any, um, you know, like a box of vegetables where you have a picture of a vegetable? You can go raid the freezer, snip it, snip it off and make a, make a sticker. All right, let's see. Let's put that, let's plan on putting that there. Where's my little... going to stamp on that. I don't want to have it plain. Excellent. Excellent. If I do say so myself. And then we have, I didn't use the, um, I didn't use this. So I've got that little bit and we've got that. <clears throat> got this little piece of fiber see you just oh looking through a magazine oh that's a great idea see i know i make myself crazy with like not throwing little bits of stuff out but see look at that little tiny bit of fabric you know and it just looks great there I have to watch because I think Beth is coming on soon, right? She, uh, is she central or is she? That looks okay. Hmm? Hmm? Yes. That'll be fine. <clears throat> I think we need something dark around the edges as well on this one. Where's my, um, Hmm. I think I'll just do the ink. And when I do that, and when I say ink, I think ink a dink. And when I think of ink a dink, who do I think of? Who knows? Who knows? Who's out there that knows? Who remembers? Who's old like me? Come on, girls. Who's old like me? Look, I just put heavens to Mercatroid. All right, what else does this guy need? Did anybody ever tell me? Is that Beethoven? I don't know. I just don't know. Maybe some gold, huh? Maybe I should scrape. Jimmy Durani. Yes, yes, yes. I didn't think you were that old, huh? I didn't think you were that old. I thought you were one of the youngins. Okay, let's get out some of this marigold. Let's do some gold. Yes. The guy with the big schnoz, the big schnozola. Okay, let's see. Mm. Oh boy, this looks yummy. This looks like you could eat this. Woo! I got some on the back. Where did I put my... Look, I got spatters all over my... 
all over my arm. What do you think? Ah, that explains it. That explains it. Maybe I need a little gold here. If I can get some. I don't want too much. On the little tag. I think that's good. All right, so there's one left to go, except for the fibers. And we're going to 86 that. Close this up. I got to clean that off. That really is a mess. Let's dry this. aren't too over the top. We could certainly do a lot more with them. My brain's not operating as well as I thought it was going to. Okay, that's got to dry a little bit more, but I can pick it up, I think, at least. Pop it over there. See, I still have a little bit of a puddle there. Let's try to get this one done here. Let's see. Oh, I didn't spatter that one. I think I need to spatter that one. I think um, Mona Lisa needs something here, but I don't know if I really want that on her head. And this stuff here, I don't know if you could see the, the stuff that was more like uh, cement. It does have a little bit of a gold, goldish look to it. Why are you saying Mark Antony? Did you say you said that before too? Am I behind? Maybe I'm behind. Oh yeah, I was way back. Oh, my mouse is jumping around. Except I go to fast food and they give me a senior discount. It's bittersweet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, I hear you. My dad was my dad was so wanting to get a discount, but he gosh, even when he passed, he didn't have that much gray hair. He had like his natural color. And uh, he's like, nobody thinks I'm old enough for a discount. I'm like, well, dad, that's really not that bad. But he wanted his discount. Okay, so let's see. I've got a little bit of this paper left that I tore. I've got this very large fleur. I think I used up my, let's see, here's a piece of Frida lace. I mean, Frida silk. Let's see. Let's put some of this on here. I'm going to fray some of this. I'm pulling some of the, I like the fray. Love the fray. Uh, maybe we'll twist that. Oh, I could use my little stapler. Wouldn't that be fun? I could staple this on. All right. That's good. <clears throat> Wonder if I I wish I had another piece of gauze, but I know I don't. I know I don't. 
I mean, I have it. I just don't have it out. See, and I said gauze again. Oh, good night. And I think that needs something dark around the edges, too. Hey, Jean Gibson, how are you? Jean, I finally got your package put together today. Holly, yours is all in the box. I'm so, I'm so behind. So Monday, Monday's the target date. And these are curling up a little bit. So I guess I'm going to have to maybe hit it with a heat gun or iron or spritz it or something. Can you tell? Oh, you're going to spy on the boys? Okay, Hall. <laughs> All right. So. Mm, I'm really not liking that so much. I wonder if I have. Let me see if I have a button I would like better. Let's see. Let's see. If I can get my button drawer open. Oh, let's see. Mm -hmm. Oh, I kind of like that button. That kind of looks like a fur. A fur. I think I need to cut this in half. Let's give a little snippity do here. Snippity do da. Snippity do da. Snippity a. And if I put it down that way and I put the bouton there, that looks much better. Well, I do say now I love all kinds of buttons. I'm a button freak. I could sit for hours and look at buttons. Yes, sad but true. Now somewhere here I know I threw not this kind of cord. I want my other. Oh, I have some here in my jar. Let me get some of this. Get some of this here. I'm going to get a piece of loose twine. I think I can take this apart. <clears throat> Mike and Mikey are chatting with an older couple. Bob is missing in action. Okay. Holly's uh, husband has a shop, and oh, this is not going to come undone, I don't think. This is not like the other. And they've got uh, security cameras, so now she can spy on them. <laughs> All right, I'm just, I don't like to have my buttons not have any thread. On a rare occasion, I will not put thread. Sometimes it's because they're so small. I can't get the thread through. But that's just one of those, one of those things. One of those things. Hi, Aunt Beck. How are you? We're just getting, I'm hoping to get these trying to think what I have fiber wise to put in the top of these oh that'll do I think that'll do so let me get a little bit of my hot glue here and I'll put some hot glue on the back of my button I think Gamona is going to need some gold. And I'm going to trim these. Tr 
from that. I'm going to swap the camera. And then I'm thinking... thinking I might put a little that other piece of fabric back there the other piece of flower <clears throat> let's see if I have a little uh, another piece of maybe this I need a pair of scissors by my work area here that um, Cuts fabric nicely. We have fabric scissors, but we keep those in the sewing box, you know. So I don't want to steal those. I just want to cover up the back of that. Right, now I cut something gooey on me somewhere, but I can't figure out what it is. All right, I'm going to take a little bit of that gold. Gold finger. All right, Hall. I would love to be able to find some time, um, say like at an estate sale or a yard sale or something like that, somebody's grandmother's tin of buttons. Because I would love them. I would love them and cherish them. Um, I really would. And to be able to find something like that and sit and look through the buttons. Oh, I just can't tell you. I just, oh. Mm. Okay, so I'm going to put some gold. I probably shouldn't dip my... All right, we're going to give you some gold here, Mona. I don't know if anybody can even tell that that's Mona anymore. And I'm going to scrape some gold across my textured paste. All right, I think that looks cool. All right. I know I just had the lid and I can't find the lid. All right, let's do that. Let's cap, cap her up. A little heat gun action here. Let's see how my other one's dried. I did have a little bit of a puddle. I'm trying to stay away from, you know, the wet stuff over there, which I'm not doing a very good job of. We got a little bit of a puddle up there. get my little spattery brush out and I'm gonna spatter these guys and I don't think I care about it being in their faces I'm gonna do a little tester maybe a little juicier If you get it too wet, most of you, I'm sure, know this. It um, you just get puddles of water, and then it kind of spreads. Doesn't look so great. So it's kind of a fine, fine line, really. And let's see if we have any white left. Can you spatter um, 
gesso? I don't know. I don't know if I ever tried spattering gesso. I don't know what I have left here. I've got it all mushed together. Gesso and white paint. That's not wet enough. Of course, now I'm thinking about what I need to put in. Nope. Nope, nope. Need a little more. Need a little more. I think I just need a little brightness there on the spatters. <clears throat> okay. So now I have four. What I'm calling finished. Put some of this jazz off to the side. Uh, okay, Frida says, my son is going to send me several kilograms of, uh, of mixed buttons and journal products. My granddaughter bought about 50 to 40 to 50 kilograms from an old factory. Oh, Frida, you're killing me. They are all retro, and many of them are rather big. Oh, well, we'll have to find, like, maybe we can have a visit, and when you get them, we can look at them together. What are the gesso down a bit and spatter? Oh, that'll work, too? Okay, great. Okay. Oh, Frida, that sounds like... That sounds like heaven. I'm sorry, heaven. That sounds like, Lori, get in the plane again and go over and see Frida. Wouldn't that be fun? Okay. So I didn't spatter the back, so I'm not going to worry about that, uh, really. I'm not. Okay, so what I have is uh, some pieces of this kind of, of um, rope twine. I've got my regular twine. And I have some muslin type of fiber, which I'm going to tear. That's all kind of grunged up. I'm going to sit these up and let those paint spatters dry a little. I like to put a lot of stuff in the top of my tags to make them real fluffy. And I usually like to use some kind of um, tool. But I don't know that I have it where I can grab it easy without causing an avalanche of sorts. So I'm going to use that. Oh, uh, let's see. Now, this is purple. Well, here we go. I've got some sorry. Sorry, I might have to use some sorry. And I often will use a piece of uh, cheesecloth. Now, I've got this where it's kind of a dark purple and kind of a burgundy. I can get that burgundy end off. That might look good on the one where I put some burgundy. And then I have pieces of um, lace here. I don't want to use that. This I can use, I think. Which, some of this might look good. So, we're going to see what we can mash into that. I didn't chop a very big hole. Let's see. I think I did use my bigger hole, though. <clears throat> didn't I? Yeah, I think that's as big as it's going to get. All right. Well, we'll see how we make out there. So I'm going to start with the other two that have been drying a little while. And what I really should do is mop up this wet stuff because my space is getting smaller and smaller to work in. And... I know myself, I will end up putting my card in it for sure. 
Let's see, I'm going to use some of this paper toweling to get up like the excess. Beth is on. Okay, I'm going to wind up in a little bit here. I'm just going to put my fibers in. Thanks, Holly. <clears throat> so let's see, what do I have to remind you all of? I have to remind you of the um, streamathon that Lisa and Tanya, Tanya McGuire channel and Lisa My Eclectic Life channel. Uh, they've got that coming up on January 11th and 12th and uh, Beth Schuler is on now so you'll want to pop over and check out what she's doing and uh, Keisha's creations market I'm not sure when she's going to be back on to sell she's been a bit under the weather but she's boy that made a mess She's doing better, doing doing a lot better. So she should be on probably next week, I would think. Let me just cover that up. They say you can put anything on these mats, but I don't think I like that alcohol. All right. Now my fingers are real grammy. Okay, so I'm going to take a little piece of this. I don't usually make it too long. And uh, sometimes I staple it on. Sometimes I hot glue it. So I'm going to take a little piece of that. And I'm going to see if I can get to this burgundy end of my sorry ribbon. Uh, I don't want to cut it. And I don't really want to cut that bob anything either, but sometimes it's hard to find the end, right? Unless you're do, working with yarn, and then, of course, it's all over the place. Let me un Ah, I got it, girls. I got it. Of course, it's all the way at the other end. I guess I could have cut the bobbin. And you may not like, you know... Um, your strands to be as fluffy that's fine you do it the way you know you do your tags the way you like and then i usually like to put a little piece of some kind of twine in there and then you just kind of hope and pray you can push it on through where's my I usually have a um a pair of needle nose you can use your pokey tool or needle nose um not needle nose what pointy um meh. pointy tweezers so you can grab it i don't know where my pokey tool is I need a bigger hole punch is what I need. So you basically know what I'm doing here, right? I'm just going to do this one and then I'll finish the other ones off so you can all get going. Um, I just want to get over to Beth. Let me just see if I can do this without tearing it. I've got it. I've got it. And then you just, you know, fix it the way you like. Now, my stapler that I have here is a little tiny Tim Holtz one. And I'm not sure that's going to go through all of this. So what I'm going to do is I just uh, pull that down a little bit and then I'll stick in a little hot glue there. And then push that back, back up. And then flip it and do the other, do the back side. And that's it. 
All right, guys, thanks for hanging in with me. You can trim those too to what you like. I'll probably trim them down a little bit. And then save your little trimming pieces, right, for clusters. All right, that's it for me, gang. I'm going to go get some dinner. Don't forget Beth is on, Beth Schuler channel. And this is this tag completely finished. And then we did this one with Mona Lisa. And then this one. We used a, a frame. Bye, Peggy. Thanks so much for being here. I appreciate your help. And then this one. And thank you, Holly. All right, girls. So I'm going to say goodbye. Take care. And don't forget, take time to be creative and enjoy the journey. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.